I love it when I learn something new, and today has been a real learning experience for me. The local story of a line of pottery and stoneware. David Montgomery is here to tell us the story about Yule pottery and stoneware. Welcome to Lifestyles. Nice to be here. Thank you. And I was teasing him. I said, I bet this is the tip of the iceberg of your collection. And it is, isn't it, David? <laughs> yeah, just ask my wife. Our old basement <laughs> is full of it. Yeah. <laughs> what got you interested in Yule? Well, I inherited several pieces uh, from my mother-in-law and my grandfather, actually, and that just kind of got me interested in, in investigating the history of the company, and it just kind of grew from there. And did you know when you started that this had a local connection? No, uh, not really. Um, I don't know if you, some of the history of the company, um, it was started in 1849 in Evansville by German immigrants. See, I had no idea. With the family name of Uhl, mm -hmm. and it's U-H-L, and it, it is pronounced Uhl, some people. I said Uhl, so it's Uhl? Okay. It's Uhl, yeah. Um, they manufactured pottery here uh, until 1909 in Evansville, and uh, at that time, they moved the plant to Honeyburg, Indiana, which is where the actual clay was mined that they used. Originally, they had they mined it in Honeyburg, brought it down to the river, barged it all the way to Evansville, and then manufactured it here. Well, after so many years, they figured that wasn't practical. So in 1909, they closed the Evansville factory. They built a brand new factory in Huntingburg, and it lasted in business until 1944. Well, this is just intriguing. Now, you have brought some pieces of your collection. Some are stoneware, some are pottery. Right. Uh, and let's walk, walk us through a little bit of some of the most outstanding and interesting pieces to you. Okay. Uh, just for example, this piece here, um, you can see the mark on the front of it. It's, it's a round. Mm -hmm. Yes. It says, Ool Pottery, Evansville, Indiana. You can date a piece with that mark that was actually made in Evansville before 1909. So that piece is over 100 years old. And it's beautiful. I mean, it's really magnificent in its size as well. Yeah, so everything else here, and like I said, this is just a very small sample, was manufactured in Huntingburg. Wow. Uh, for instance, th this, this piece here with, with the blue acorn wares symbol is probably what most people recognize. And just this, this piece here was made all the way up to 60 gallons. So if you can imagine a 55 gallon drum as made out of made stone. out of this, it, it was it was over 200 pounds. And it was pounds. utilitarian too. They're they're filling pickles. They're filling right. sauerkraut. Crocs, sauerkraut. Sauerkraut. That those were functional things. Right. But I see some whimsy here too. Oh sure, sure. Um, this is one of my favorite pieces. Um, this was made during World War II. Oh, and I see now the Führers on the back side yeah, of the Yeah, the, the, the top says, cents for, descent, cents for defense, and it was to encourage you to save money for the war effort. And I, I, I'm guessing it's no coincidence that they have Hitler's picture painted on the rear end I'd of the I'd say no page. coincidence at all. Well, David, what, tell us about how we can learn more about this, because we're out of time and I want to know more about the, the Sure. Uh, we have a website. It's the OolCollectorsSociety.com. Uh, we have a Facebook page, uh, Ool, Collectors, Ool Pottery Collectors Society. Uh, we have 250 members. Uh, we have uh, over 500 followers on Facebook. Uh, every year we have a national convention in Huntingburg. It'll be June 26th and 27th of this year. And if you're interested in joining, uh, just go to the website and there's an application and membership. And uh, it, it's pretty fascinating to learn the history of it all. Well, you'll have to come back before the June thing. Would sure, you? Thank you. That. I've just loved this. I'm, I'm, I'm well informed now. I know a little bit about reading these marks. Thanks, David.